Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jordan and today I'm here with another book review. I'm pretty excited because the book that I'm reviewing is one that I have gushed about and now I get to talk about it. Ah, uh, okay, so let's get into it. What is the book? It is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janata Petrus, and this book was amazing. So I'll just start off to give you like the general synopsis, and then we'll get into why I am literally cheesing from ear to ear about this book. So this book is told in multiple perspectives, but I would say there are two main voices that the book is told from, and it's the um, perspectives of two young black girls that you can see from the cover. And one of them is in Trinidad, or starts off in Trinidad, and her name is Audrey, and another one is in America, in Minneapolis, and her name is Mabel. And essentially, they're both dealing with their own struggles or their own situations where they are at, um, but their worlds end up intersecting at some point. And we learn pretty quickly that Mabel starts to get sick, and they're kind of dealing with that. Audrey, she is Trinidadian, she's Caribbean, she is feisty and fierce and just loyal and but also she feels like she doesn't really quite fit in but she finds her home or her church somewhere um when you read the book you'll know what i mean by that in trinidad but something happens and she has to basically leave and immediately when the book takes off you're kind of like what's going on where are we and you know the dialogue within there i didn't even read really the back to really no, when I picked this up, I was just flipping through it on the plane and I was just like, this is just something to pass the time by. Let me get a good gist of this. And I was <clears throat> drawn in because the voices are so distinct and so beautiful. So Audrey's voice, a lot of it you can almost hear, especially if you are Caribbean or you have Caribbean friends or you've ever been around someone who's Trinidadian or who you can hear. I could, well, I could hear Audrey's voice and I love that. Um, I'm getting on a tangent. But anyways, <laughs> I guess I gave y'all a general synopsis of the book. So the book, I think, is really amazing for multiple reasons. The main reason why I feel like I so deeply connected with this book, one, the writing is amazing. I think anytime if you write where the person who's reading it feels it, like in their core, which this did for me, that means this is just good writing. But secondly, it is a story about love between two black girls. And you can take that platonically, but in this, it's not only platonically, it's also romantically. But as far as how it is for a black girl to love another black girl, it's very empowering and very freeing and very just a safe and loving space and environment and to have those connections and those friendships and to show that in multiple different ways and the power of that, that is something that I don't think I've read before in literature and if I have read it I haven't read it as intensely I know it had to have been there but to show exactly what that's like when you're at that age they're in high school and you're at that age and you're like trying to find yourself find your crew find all that and to have those friendships from other black females like yourself if you are a black female where they can get it and ew, it's so great and empowering and not just the relationship um, solely between these two black girls, but also the relationship with their other friends and their other minorities who had their own struggles or their own back backgrounds or their own differences and how that support system comes together. I felt like this showcased that pureness so beautiful. I mean, when it says the stars and the blackness between them and you see this cover, like, look at this cover and that's what it feels like to me now after reading it. I'm like, that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like you were laying down in a safe, loving environment. Additionally, I feel like this was really amazing for the queer representation that's throughout this. I don't think I've really read um, anything that showcased the pureness in relationship in that way. Also, there was a lot of Whitney Houston references <laughs> and songs. The way the music was used throughout the story and cultural references, I think is very, it felt very real because maybe not you, but everybody has like those artists or those music, like during those defining moments of your life that help you get through something or 
you know, help you feel like you have your community and have what, you know, something that you connect and hold on to. I remember the first, actually I'm going to a Maxwell concert random and I, my sister, my sister, I'm thankful for a lot of things, but she put me on to Maxwell. Nobody my age was listening or caring about Maxwell or anything like that and, or Sade. And, you know, I guess you would say it was, even though he, I think, I mean, he was putting out music while I was a kid, but Clearly, that wasn't like my range, but something about that I could fall asleep. I could feel everything in Sade's lyrics and like that max or that vibe. It just, I connected to it and I know what that feels like and to have that influence. And I felt like it was just a beautiful way to tie in to the story. I don't know if I'm going to be able to post that because that was a lot of rambling. But if you read this book, you'll know what I mean. The other thing that I... um loved about this is it shows a lot of the homophobia that w is within different communities but it also showed what an accepted environment looks like and what a loving environment looks like it briefly touched on some of the situations on how people are cast out of their homes um in trinidad spe specifically was where that was showcased but that is prevalent throughout the Caribbean throughout America as well of people getting kicked out their homes because of who they are, you know? So showcasing that, but also showcasing how you can find community. The other thing I really appreciated about the book was the elements of magic, which I actually will link in Jerry and Jerry interviewed the author um, on Onyx pages. And it was such a great interview. And one of the topics that was touched was the way the author decided to use magic in the book. And I was thinking, yeah, I guess there was magical elements, but magic to me, I, it's just such a weird word when it's used because some of these things, like when you're talking about different like herbs, I think if you have a Caribbean or if you have an African background, like your mother or your grandmother, your God, somebody was like, oh, you have a belly ache. I got a, I got a herb for that. I got a tea for that. I got a thing for that. I got a this for that. I can heal. There's always a healer or somebody like in the community or something like that, that is available to show that was really nice and really dope. Granted, Yes, there was elements where, you know, it does get a little bit probably beyond the norm of what you think of when you think of like that ancestral, like cultural, like referencing. But a lot of it just felt natural to me and how love is healing in its own. Like love is another healing mechanism and passing that being there for someone and being that good energy for them that can get them through so much. I will say that I really would love to talk about the ending in this book, but that would be the biggest spoiler in life. So I can't talk about the ending, but that was another thing within the interview that I thought was so funny because Njiri was like, she threw the book down when she finished, <laughs> finish, finish it. And um, Janata, the author was like, yeah, she hears that a lot. And it was so funny because I promise you when I did, I was like, oh my gosh, like that was my reaction when I, I got to the ending. And I have a lot of feelings with it. I feel like, also now thinking about it, looking at it, I'm like, all of it kind of like, I'm like, okay, I see, I see, I get it. I get where we were going there. But yeah, I can't talk about it. But once you read this book, let's start a thread below so we can talk about the ending and we'll probably put like in big caption spoiler conversation or something like that. So people know not to look. So yeah, in summary, I guess I just, I, 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 I can't speak highly enough about this book. This is just cosmic and beautiful and epic and yeah comment below if you have read this or if you are planning on reading this and hopefully we can continue talking about this magnificent book i want this to get all of the pub in the world and to get this into the hands of as many individuals as possible so yeah see you guys in the next one deuces and all that <laughs> other stuff and there was a lot of aquarius energy that was in this book which i absolutely love so yeah comment below what is your sign um, I'm an Aquarius and I just, <laughs> I feel like I exude Aquarius energy.